guys um today i'm coming at you with a very quick video um in this video today i'll be showing you guys how i detangle my hair this was a video that was requested by one of my lovely subbies um a good while ago i think it's probably as um probably had has been like a month and a half ago to my subbie that requested it i'm so so sorry i took so long to do this video I, extremely i apologize but I'm gonna get to it right now. So okay, to start off, my hair is currently nine and a half weeks post. It's actually more than nine and a half. It's probably almost like two days to ten weeks post. And as you guys know, I'm gonna be relaxing at twelve weeks post. So this is my hair right now. My hair is actually air dried right now. But as you can see, my root is just extremely thick um okay so the rest of my hair is already detangled so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be showing you guys how i do it on this section right here what you start off by doing before you detangle of course and just to let you guys know i normally when my hair is so many weeks post and so thick up at the root i normally try to only detangle on wash days so I normally like wash, um, shampoo my hair, deep condition, detangle, air dry, and then detangle after my hair is air dry. And then I try to just not really do any much detangling until my other wash, wash, wash day since I'm so many um weeks post relaxer. Okay, so you start off by applying your moisturizer, and you guys know my moisturizer is my Neutrogena Triple Moisture Silk Touch Leave-In Cream. I apply that already, and I add some extra virgin olive oil to seal in the moisture so what i love to what i like to do now is this is like my best friend when my hair is like so many weeks post because it gets extremely thick and it's very hard to detangle so what you do right now is that you take your main and tail detangle this is the holy grail to when you're um stretching what i like to do i like to start screening it from the root first I lift up and I spray it as much in the root as possible and of course I spray it on my entire hair from root to tip what this does is that it get rid it helps to um, soften or get rid of the tangles so you're not breaking your hair okay so you put as much detangler as you need Especially at um, the ends and the root. Once you feel like you you have enough detangler in your hair, you take your big tooth comb. This is the Annie kind. I think this is the, it's called the Ray comb, and it's from the um the Annie brand. So then, as you guys know, when you're detangling your hair, it's best to start from the um the, the ends of your hair and work your way up. Because for example, if you start um, detangling your hair from the root, you will break your hair like that, especially when your hair is sticked up like a oh, whole mine is sticked up right now. So you start from the end. And you take your time. And you work your way up. So you continue and you work your way up. If by any chance you 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 get um you're at a tangled section, you go back down and you work your way up to the tangled section that you just fell. Okay, so you continue to work your way up. By any chance, I feel my hair feels a little tangled here, so what I do, I take back my detangler and splash the section that I feel tangled. And then I start detangling again. I'm at a, a tangled section, so I'm going to spray again. And I work my way down. So I'm starting from the ends, and I'm working my way up.
okay so all this section is all this section is combed out by now so I'm gonna take my time and work my way up to the root now okay my hair feels tangled in that section so I'm gonna take my detangler and splash it it really seems like I'm using a lot of detangler guys but it's actually really not because it sprays very low at least my bottle sprays very low so I'm really not using a lot so I'm gonna work from the end again and I work my way up okay here feels tangled So, I continue to work my way through this piece of hair. It is very tangled right here. So, you start from a section that is already detangled. So I'm continuing to get, a rid get rid of the tangles in my hair in this piece. And see, as you can see, I don't really have any hair through the comb. I only have like about one piece. So I was very careful in detangling my hair. So this piece, the last section is technically detangled now. So that's, that's, that's basically it for this video guys. As I said, when my hair is sticked up like this, I normally do it in, 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 in um, probably about six sections. I normally do four in the back and two in the front to properly detangle my hair and I only do it on wash days. Because my hair is so thick, I just try to detangle it properly on wash days and then I wait until probably like a week's time to go ahead and detangle back over my hair. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Should you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave it down in the bottom bar as usual. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.